Hey everyone, I'm Brad Nelson. And I'm Todd Anderson. And you're watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. So here we are, the day before SCG Atlanta. Who's your team? Um, you haven't made one yet. Couch have you? and television. You're not going to Atlanta. Uh, I, I have to have friends first. Uh, a lot of my friends are, are <laughs> traveling gone, to yeah. Japan for the pro tour, and I'm not. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I will not be able to be there because I will be in Kyoto playing in the Grand Prix for the weekend. But it's going to be an awesome show. It's uh, the team team event, so it's. Standard, Legacy, and Modern. And uh, we thought we would show off maybe some of the standard decks that might show up this weekend. Yeah, uh, a lot of people have been buzzing about Champion of Wits uh, mm -hmm. after Jerry Thompson wrote about it uh, in his article last week. I also wrote week. an article about it. But sure. Whatever. Well, the, I think the card's very good. Uh, both halves, the front half being able to loot two cards. Uh, it's very good for graveyard synergy strategies yep. uh, centered around Prize Amalgam, Haunted Dead, Code's Lex mm -hmm. Return, and Elder Deep Fiend. Uh, but it's it's also just fine in a uh, you know a blue based emerge deck. You know, just yes. having Elder Defiend with it is more than fine. Like you just get your codes extra turn into the graveyard, which is where you want them, mm -hmm. and it changed naturally from three into turn four. Sacrifice it for Elder Defiend. Yeah, it's it's a perfect chain for exactly that. Yeah. And that's probably going to be good against my zombies. Ah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I actually think zombies is is one of the stronger decks. It, it didn't really gain a lot from the new set being uh, released, but I do think that it is just a solid deck. You know, it, it uh, fights off mass removal decently well with stuff like Liliana's Mastery. Uh, but the uh, easiest ways to get ahead of the deck are stuff like Sweltering Suns, Chandra. Uh, with pressure, collar. and that's something that your deck can provide. Right, and that's one of the reasons why I do like these uh, Delirium-based uh, graveyard decks that uh, Jerry Thompson and other people have been writing about, uh, and something that I may be playing at Cincinnati, yeah. maybe? I don't know yet. All right. Well, I'm playing Zombies. We're going to see if he can beat my horde, but everyone knows that deck, so let's get to die rolling. I'm going to win the 7-11 game. All right. All right, you ready? Sure. 11! Eight. Eleven! No! No! Juju! Oh, uh, alright. Well, it's a one. I'll take the win. Ooh, perfect seven off the top. Perfect seven? Well, as in I drew seven oh. exactly. Uh, I'm going to keep my hand. It's kind of wonky. Yeah, I can't complain about this one. A little mana heavy. Go. Crypt Breaker. That one's not beatable. The cryptiest of the breakers. Ooh. That one's not beatable. I do love that in this deck you can just actually just kidding. Yeah, you can actually just cast K return in this deck with Ether Hub. Your turn. Nineteen. Nah. <laughs> uh, one energy. I'll just cast this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. This deck does not really spend energy that much. Yep. Go. I block. Hmm. All right, I attack. I will take it. Uh, round two. Oh, man. Go. All right, well. I have no idea what's going on as a spectator. Like, as a, if, I, if this was a, be like, what are you doing over here? I'm doing graveyard stuff. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to cast this on the stack, make a zombie. All right. It resolves your turn. This is still uh, a lot of damage coming in. Mm. Oh, battle. Yep, 11. There I go. Uh, 10. Thinking. <laughs> All right, this is probably stupid. Probably should wait. <coughs> Four Kozilek's like return, but uh, let's go tap your. Let's do land, land, Lord of the or land, 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 and uh, uh, let's say zombie token.
thinking. Hmm. I don't know what to discard. Hand's that good? Probably won't need this card, truth be told. Sure. All right. Uh, this comes in untapped, I think. I know, but that's the tap for your zombie sure. token. and then that. Um, I think we're going to want to block. <laughs> okay. Go. Man, come on, deck. This deck's not doing anything cool. Neither is mine. <clears throat> what are you talking about? It's doing what it's supposed to. All right. Uh, let's just try to go to five, four. Okay. All right. All right, go. Okay. Nope. Draw. Alright, so if I get K returned, I lose just these two. These two? Yep. But if you get K returned plus D-Fiend, you lose everything. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I would have upkeeped it and tapped four lands, though, so. All right. I haven't played a... No, I did play a land. So I only had four last turn. I had three when you did your stuff, right? I'm pretty sure you just play a land, yes. Yeah. Have I missed a land drop? Maybe. I mean, I have six in play. Yeah, last turn I had you tapped three, and then I played a four. So yeah, I played a fifth. Okay. Um, trigger. Yep. Combat. Okay. So this is... 16, 17, 18, 19, so I can keep this back in case I need the blocker? Sure. Deck. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had this my opening hand. I was like, four land traverse, defense. That is a weird hand, flare. yeah. I'm like, oh, this doesn't seem good. I didn't draw any of my uh, graveyard stuff to trigger this. So. All right, we're here for game two, and I'm on the play here with a fine hand. Uh, we have a graveyard enabler with Vessel. Definitely uh -oh. going to be looking to draw one of our namesake champion of wits, though. That's what I call me when I'm at home by myself. I call myself the champion of wits. <laughs> uh, but nowhere else. Well, speak of the devil. All right. Go. Ow, 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 ow. All right, 18. Ooh, gross. I'm going to name Zombie. All right, that's fine. Top four. Ooh, he hit a K return. That's nice. Oh, no, that's bad. Do we want to land? I think we need a land actually, so we'll take this. Champion of Wits. Yeah. Draw two. Discard. What's that? A prize amalgam and a deep fiend? It's like we're going off over no, here. No, that's a haunted dead, but you have a deep fiend. Oh no, 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 no. I don't have a <laughs> deep fiend. Don't ignore me. Ignore me. <laughs> oh no, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Kill this. Guess I just try to beat you down before this all happens. Maybe. Maybe it's better to just... Hmm. 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 Indeed. 
quite. Well, well, well. I might not block. I'm all, I also might block. It pretty much comes down to if I pay full retail or just try to go all in here. I should probably just do that. All right, he did. I'm at 14. Go. Go. That's not good. That's not. How many cards are in your hand? Three? I have four cards. You have four cards and delirium? And delirium. You better kill this one, too. <laughs> and then you better kill that one. I know I'm in trouble, Todd. And then you better kill these two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Grasp it. There he did. Play Relentless Dead and just attack. All right. Discard these two. Get back this tapped plus the spirits. Uh, trigger these, and spirits will tumble. Twelve or ten, go. Right. I'm just gonna main you phase. Your triggers. Oh yeah, sure, whatever. I even turn them sideways. I'm just stupid. Alright, Yep. 14. Uh, I'm just, you... just going to main phase this so he doesn't get anything off of this. Okay, return. These all die. i play this. Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> Where are you going? I won't, I'm going home. <laughs> You're mean. Elder Deep mean. Alright, so I'm going to be taking out my Fatal Pushes and bringing in Crook of Condemnation. Now... I don't know how stock this many is going to be, but especially on the Versus Series, I want to know if decks can fight it. Right. It's just very important to know if this is a good card or not. No, I completely agree. I, I think uh, it will be one of the uh, higher sideboard cards like on the list, just because of how good it is against Kozilek's Return, specifically. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the other Graveyard uh, synergies, it, it also just does a great job of fighting those, too. So uh, I think it'll be more than fine. Uh, my side, the, the removal on Brad's deck is very good against Grim Flayer and not very good against the rest of my creatures. Uh, even though he's boarding out Fatal Pushes, he still has Grass of Darkness and Dark Salvation. Mm -hmm. and those cards tend to make Grim Flayer look embarrassing. So we're going to be trimming those in favor of uh, two Fatal Push, a Mountain, uh, th so that we can actually cast our Kozlox Return, because hard casting it on three is actually very good. And we have the Four Traverses, as well as uh, uh, Four Aether Hubs to help cast it on turn three if we need to. Um... The rest of the sideboard is down here. I don't think any of these cards can come in this matchup, but I wanted to talk about them a little bit. I really like the synergy of Gates Afterlife, Gods, Pharaoh's Gifts in this deck specifically because we are so creature dense and we have so many ways to get creatures in the graveyard. It's a very doable thing. Mm -hmm. um, and this is going to be something that's going to really punish uh, slower control decks. Uh, Manglehorn might actually come in in every matchup now if everyone plays Crook of Condemnation. Yeah. So after we see a Crook, we're probably going to be just trading the Fatal Pushes for Manglehorn. Uh, the Fatal Pushes are not fantastic in this matchup in particular, but um, it is a way for you to just contain some of the early threats so that you can actually make it to the late game. Uh, Mindbender, another anti-control guard. Uh, Ishkana is more of an anti-Mardu uh, vehicles and negates more of anti-control as well. All right, so here we are for game three, and I've got my sideboard card, so hopefully Todd doesn't do anything at all, really. <laughs> uh, my side, we have a wonky one, not going to lie, but we have a thing to do, and I'm going to keep it because we have the thing to do. Go. Go. Desperately want to draw. Champion of Wits. Weird, I know. Card is so good. Past turn, past turn, past turn, past turn. No, it's definitely not past turn. Tilt. All right. Attack, Relentless Dead. Alright, 19. Alright, go. Oh man, I feel like a K return is coming. Okay. Put you 
you to 19. Your turn. So if I cast K return here, he basically just returns a Crib Breaker and a Relentless Dead. If I do it on upkeep, he gets to do the same thing, but he spends two mana on his own turn. Mm -hmm. But he gets to draw a card. All right, go. Are you just doing it? I guess. All right. Draw to 18. And then... Oh, no, I didn't hit lands, though. Go. All right. Well, we needed that one. Let's do it again. Let's go. Hmm. Man, if only we had Anger, the gods in standard. That'd be yeah. <laughs> All right, we have some tough choices. It might just be casting this, though. Oh, that's big. Yeah, your turn. Ooh, it's a five, though. But it's only five, yeah. It is only five. <clears throat> Go. Oh, no. Check for five. Yeah, 14 me. Only cost one to exile. Yep. Wow, that's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> All right, go. All right, upkeep. Play this, sec this, trigger these. Targets will be uh, this and three lands. All right. I see no reason why I shouldn't do this. So exile all oh, graveyards. Oh no, my my creature. Yeah, I killed my own thing. And drop. Go. All right. We well, can gamble to try to hit a land. I think that's just bad though. So we're just gonna cast K return. Go. You want to race? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> Should have. Uh, okay. Tilt. Tech. All right, this is in the yard. All right, take six. I'm at eight. Your turn. Um. That doesn't work at all, does it? Okay, I'm going to cast this instead. All right. Draw. Draw. Got a pitch. Oh, wait, wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, your turn. Oh, that's <laughs> good, your hand is so good. That's fine. All right, so we want to know if he's got it. Kind of sad Eternalize doesn't trigger Price Amalgam. I don't know why. I don't know why that makes me sad. All right, I guess we should just go... We don't want our lands to get tapped during combat, and I feel like this is going to sound enough alarm. So I'm going to go with trigger. Hmm. Well, we actually can't just... I mean, we could double K return here. I'm not actually a fan of that, though. Like, I kind of want to block plus uh, sack this, but uh, that's probably bad. But now I just can get my Diagraph back into play. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's really annoying. And because of how it stacks. I mean, I, I could just not do anything and then threaten a double block. I'm fine with that. Whatever. Okay, trigger. Yep. Problem is, he's never tapping out against Relentless Dead is always going to bring back Dire Graph Colossus. If we had done it right then, it would have been Relentless Dead. We could have, like, let the zombie trigger resolve and then swept, leave this versus our nothing. Uh, well, I guess it would be versus our deep feed. But that's still not even that good of a proposition because he's just going to get it back anyway if he ever blocks. So, I don't know. Combat. So, hmm. just chump forever? Can we just chump forever? All right, we'll go block, block. Okay. All right, I'll take three. Your turn. <clears throat> EOT, Defiend, tap four lands. I'll tap those four lands. Trigger 1k return. So you're going to activate 1k return? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stack it correctly so that I get it back before I return the this to hand. Okay. All right. So right now we just have creatures in the yard, so we can crack. Well, we've already cast all our K returns, so we can actually just tap this mountain. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just do that. One, two, three, four. Minister, land, or defiend. I'll just take this, I guess. So instant land enchantment creature. All right. What do we got? You get Champion of Wits, can't cast it this turn. Uh, it doesn't really do much with our hands. Scrap Heap Scrounger doesn't really let us do that much either. How many Scroungers on the deck? I have three. Scrounger can help us get back Amalgams. Or mm -hmm. Am Amalgam Singular. Man, it's tough to beat Relentless Dead going forever. Yeah. I guess I could just get a uh, Minister of Inquiries and threaten to double block the Diagraph Colossus this turn. That just seems so bad. But I just don't have two drop creatures that can block. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to play a land and make two energy. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Attack. No block. Grasp. Yeah, that sucks. And I'll play a land. I think I'm safe to bring back Dread Wanderer. I mean, if something happens, I'll still have the Relentless Dead later. I'm just going to do it. Try to KO him. Yep. Uh, don't have anything to bring back. Tilt. Dead. What a grind. Yeah, I had a bunch of defense and a bunch of K returns, but... It wasn't even good enough? No. That's crazy. Well, the Relentless Dead is just really yeah. tough to beat without being able to exile anything. All right, I'm on the play here for game four. Uh, my hand is a little wonky again. I think this deck has some problems. <laughs> <laughs> As does the pilot. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm all again, but I'm going to keep this. And I think we're just going to bottom that. All right, get energy, spend energy. Get all ready. Crip Bricker. All right. Well, we're going to be trying to mill ourselves. Oh, I should have upkeep milled tilt. <laughs> 
I guess, well, we don't have a, a discard outlet yet, so it's actually, I think, fine to just cast this. All right. Yeah, I should All hold on right. to it. I should probably actually main phase this. So I probably should have done. Go. Um, Tasty K return. Don't you hide that from me? I didn't. I can't see the, the third card. Okay. All right, we'll play like Dredge. All right, here's my graveyard. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I hate that. All right, tech. I am at 17. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I love it. I hate it. <laughs> Go. Energy. Oh. What now? I'd say just hard cast Haunted Dead. If I had it, I 100% would. <laughs> that way I can start blocking with it. Yeah. I guess it's just scrounger time. That seems loose. All right. Uh, All right. Whatever. Go. Six fourteen. Go. Draw. Oh yeah, you have no energy. <laughs> uh, I can Ooh, cast nothing. Yeah, that's some four fours. I'll take three. Uh, Seventeen. Go. I'll get this this thing back. I guess. You win. Not yet. Almost. <laughs> so. I love it. Made a push. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 right before the game, I, I swapped uh, fatal pushes for the the mangle horn, and it would have well, been very good right now. I'm not gonna talk with that. So I might as well menace. <laughs> okay, I'll double block. Yeah, take five. I'm sure. I'm sure I assume no, they both die. Oh, fine. three lords. Sure. All right, you sure. go to twelve. Yep. Your turn. All right, get this. Back. Oh get yeah, this back. Durr. I'm not the smartest. Uh, Cookie in the jar. No. Just give me one more lord, and then I'm out of K return range. My dad? Yeah. Four, eight, thirteen. Man, it's a tilt. Alright, fine. I target me and it. Alright, whatever. On Moto, I once gave my opponent three zombies. <laughs> I was real generous. And and let his glory bringer stay alive. Real generous guy, me. Alright, I'm on the player for game five. Hopefully I take down this last one and uh make it a close match at least. I don't want you to. Fine. So it's always tough to know which way to go. I'm going to go play a one drop. I think we're going to want to try to fight K return as best as possible while drawing cards, so we're going to do that. Smart. Uh, we can play Scrounger or just discard it in a second to Haunted Dead. How are you going to get in the air? Or not Haunted Dead, uh, Champion of Woods and Haunted Dead. Oh, okay. Uh, I think having the artifact in the graveyard might actually be more important for Delirium. We'll see. My turn? No. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Do I discard here or do I play? I think I play this. All right. Attack you. All right. Mimic. Go. Don't mangle me, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Mangle works. Fight. <laughs> All right. Uh, Against cool. the opponent that has Mimic in on the draw. All right, so that's going to come back. So we're going to be playing a different game this game. 
I came to game. Did you? No. Yeah. I feel like you came with zombies. <laughs> you weren't trying very hard. <laughs> well, you gotta play it at least once. <laughs> That's fair. Um, what should I do? Attack. I feel like I should just play <laughs> these two and draw cards. That's probably fair. Yeah. I don't have a K return. Your turn. I'm not lying, I actually don't. Well, that's fine. For you. For me, it's, uh, we're not in good shape. I had the spray, I'll give you a chance, just wipe my wipe me game. It's like, ah, I'm up 3-1, I'll let him just spew off all these creatures for one game. Appreciate that. You're welcome. Appreciate that a lot. Alright, actually this... Ooh, main phase. Well, I'm trying to cast this thing here, so... Oh, sure. Uh, we well, actually, you were doing a lot of work over discard there. Discard <laughs> this, and... No, that can't be right. You were doing so much work over right. here. I'm going to play this. Sure. Sorry. Yeah, activate it. All right, we got a game. That's not Delirium, though. I know. It will be when I do this and then this, though. Okay. So land into... Land into Deep Fiend, I guess. All righty. And hope I draw I'm gonna something. Lose a life and draw a card unless you want to attack. Um, maybe it's Manglehorn, actually. All right. I'm going to get my mountain, and then I don't know what I'm going to get. Then this is going to come back. And <laughs> You're getting a mountain? Nice mountain, bro. <laughs> uh, when I, I was getting mountain four K return, and it, yeah. well, you had to find the K return so you can put it on the top of your deck. No, I was just gonna put it in my graveyard without you. Know, so. <laughs> All right, whatever. Deep in it is. All right. All right. So that came back tapped. That's back. That's back. Hmm. Play that. Okay. This still can just trade with these, which I don't like. But what am I? What am else I? I guess I can just kill this and attack with everything. Have a dark salvation. Yeah. Yeah, it seems way better. I don't know if I'm going to though. So you just put another zombie on the board, and oh, I guess next turn that I can menace you. Yeah, man, it's pretty tight. Oh no, you have EDF. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Probably gonna. I'm gonna draw cards with these for sure. But I don't know if I'm going to trade this off. It's probably a bad trade-off. I think I'll just tack for four. Okay. Chat 15? Yep. And I'll be greedy. I'll... I guess what? there's no way you can K-return me next turn. I don't think there is. Well, Good. it won't do anything. I can hard cast K-return and not do anything. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll kill these two. And most of your creatures. Yeah, that's the, the kicker. Lands. Yeah, this is not great. Energy, go. All right, I'm going to go to 18, draw a card. My deck is not good. <laughs> it's Jerry's deck. Jerry's deck is not good. Dude, Unsummon would have been so good, though. Do I just force a bunch of double blocks? Dude, I don't know. Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> so you still have an EDF, right? <laughs> yep. Sure. 17. Sure. Oh my. Going into the reserve. 
Or maybe I shouldn't. No, no, I should do that. Why? Um, I start with. And draw. Maybe you can threaten to kill me next turn. Probably not. Nah, we'll just do that. Threaten right. to kill you. How much power do you think I have in play? <laughs> like five? five? Alright. I have 11. Your go. Alright. What now? I said. So I can minister and hit a K return, and that's it. That is Ooh, the, I didn't think about that. That is the only way I can get out of this. That's actually pretty good. I didn't think about that. Uh, if I wait for him to untap, he gets to red relentless dead twice. Boink. Mm. 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 Brick. Brick City. Brick City. Brick City. Brick City! Oh, oh yeah! Wow! And it was the last one, too. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, so I'm just going to do it now, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Everything dies, right? Everything has five toughness? Yeah. Okay, tight. Tap your swamp. All right, I will tap it for mana and draw two cards. Okay. I'm going to go to 16. You said two cards, you go to 15. Oh, was that 17? Yeah. Okay. All right, now I have to think. Do you? Yeah. Oh, because you have the mana. So you can get back a Crypt Breaker or the Relentless Dead? Yeah. I think it's going to be a Relentless Dead. Okay. All right. And then we can... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this main phase just because... You get back a Prize Amalgam? I get back Prize Amalgam main phase, but uh, in case he draws a Crook of Condemnation, uh, this will trigger at EOT, so I want to make sure it gets into play now. Well, that was something. That was that something. Was something. <laughs> you have one card? I have one card. Ooh, no. I cannot beat that one. Now I'm at, it's 15 all? That's what I got. You do not attack me very much. I don't know how to sequence these. Uh, it's got to be just that. All right. Oh, that's big. <laughs> <laughs> that's real big. Go. Yeah, that's the problem with this deck. I just swept him, <laughs> and now I just can't attack. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's no, uh, there's no more attacking to be done. Do I just keep haunted deading every other turn? I don't even know. All right, go. I'm just going to lose the Ormond doll. This is embarrassing. <laughs> you have two cards? I have two cards. I might be able to get Ormond doll if I draw really well. Zombie. You got it, Chief. Woo! I don't got nothing. Combat. Okay. Another character in here? No, just the uh, haunted, dead. haunted dead. And potentially an ambush. Another EDF if you wanted it. Mm -hmm. I guess if I attack with this, you just block with this, and yeah, your turn. And then you can just bring your thing back. Yep. Yeah. Right. Discard these two. Bring this back. Make a spirit. Exile. This thing. All right, I can attack for one. You do got one. I'm at fifteen still. All right. Fifteen all. Go. You don't attack for one. No. Jeez. Orange doll, baby. I think I'm just supposed to do it. I think so too. All right, we will. Sacrifice these five, trigger this, bring it back. Check. 
block. All right, so I go to 20 or 24. Yep. 24 to 15. All right, your turn. Is this an artifact and also not indestructible? <laughs> 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 no? No, it is not. I'm sorry. Weird. Attack. Uh, block. Do you have anything else that comes back in your graveyard? No, I don't. Ooh, Champion of Wits, but I'm two mana short. All right, yeah, I'll block one of those. And that doesn't technically work. No. Uh, 11. 11. 13. <laughs> you done did it now, boy. You, oh, no. you get oh, the no. You mess with the mangle. <laughs> you get the horns. Removal spell. I didn't draw one. Rats. All right. Well, I guess this is a, you're in chump mode as well. Yeah. All right. Probably shouldn't attack. Check nine. This. Six to twenty-two. Two. Who do you think is still watching this? Like, okay, let's just say a hundred percent of the viewers were watching Game Five. Let's just say of, of the hundred percent of viewers that are watching Game Five, how many are currently watching this? All of them? There's no way it's all of them. Okay, like probably 65, 70%. Maybe. I still have a chance. If I just draw Defiend, Defiend, Defiend. Oh, yeah, this is in my graveyard. <laughs> How do you have so many zombies? All right, now we're done. <laughs> that was the nail in the coffin, was me drawing that island. That last land, yeah. Last that island. sealed the deal. It was a Man. sweat up until then. Hey. So last week I wrote about this a little bit, and I don't really know, you know, what people thought of it, but... I, I'm under the impression that Zombies is just good, and there's just a lot of distractions right now that are keeping people from like playing the focus cards. It's like, Hour of Devastation, you know, shows up, and it's like, this is the new Wrath to kill everything. It's like, well, Zombies is like, what? there's no Chandras? Okay. <laughs> like, that's cool. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think that, um, like, a ramp deck playing Hour of Devastation, I think, is actually favored against Zombies. I think that the card itself, Hour of Devastation, out of, like, a control deck, is not going to be as backbreaking as people think mm -hmm. because all these creatures, uh, well, like control, was already good against zombies. Control like, beat zombies. Blue red or? was favored in the matchup. Yeah, really. It was a close matchup, but it was. I don't know about that. Yeah, maybe after sideboard. No, it was pre sideboard was their best because you had all these removal spells that were just dead. I guess. Sure. Yeah, it, it was a tough game one, and then it was hard to win both games. But I think if ramp, like these ramp decks, are going to have to get sophisticated. Because if ramp just becomes this thing, you can just play a bunch of Lost Legacy in sideboard. And it's not even like um, Dispossess was against Marvel, where you had to cast it on turn three before you even get your board set up. Yeah. You can just wait until you like, get close yeah, to you, 10 mana. Yeah, like, you have until like turn four now. Because hour of promise. And I'm like, I promise I got a response. Yeah. Take those Ulamogs. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I think that the, any deck that can play black should be playing some Lost Legacies in the sideboard at least. Two, probably four, though. Cause yeah. Because <laughs> the, the, the ramp deck is just so powerful when it is able to hit uh, turn four, hour of whatever. Uh, hour of devastation? No, the other one. Hour, hour of promise. promise, yeah. Hour of promise into a turn five Ulamog is a big deal. The great thing about hour of devastation, or, or sorry, lost legacy two, is if you've got a good board position going against the ramp deck, you can just play it preemptively on hour of devastation. Yeah, sure. If you've got them on a really short clock. Mm hmm. So I, I do think that ramp looks very good right now. And earlier this week, I got, you know, destroyed by it with Todd Stevens because that, that man loves his Eldrazi. For sure. Yeah. Uh, I wish he'd go back to the mono red ones instead of the ramp ones, though. But I, I can't blame him. I'm, I mean, I'm probably playing ramp right now after just... I, I played against it a lot of Magic Online. I just keep getting pummeled by it, so... Well, I haven't stopped drafting. Uh, yeah, no I've, one wants to hear about draft, man. No, but I'm just telling you, I have drafted twice as much already... Uh, than I did total and just Amonkhet. <laughs> well, I guess maybe you'll actually do well in limited at the Pro Tour this time. I went 5 1, only mm -hmm. losing to Glorybringer mm -hmm. and Convergence. Sandworm Convergence? Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, lost to that duo. No one cares. No one cares about limited. Well, they don't care anymore because I shut you down. You're right. You did. You, you told me good. In the last four Pro Tours, I've went 5 1, 6 0. Oh, Three three, actually four four two. It was four two. Okay, it was four two and five one. Cool. And my last four pro tours, um, I don't remember because they were too long ago. <laughs> Did they draft back then? I don't remember. Can we stop? Can okay, we okay. Come I'm on, sorry. man. You're killing me. I'm dying right <laughs> you now. You started it. No, I did it. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this weekend we have uh, a really awesome event for y'all. Uh, if you can get down to SCG Atlanta to play the team event with two of your good friends, uh, we'd love to have you there. Uh, it's going to be uh, standard, modern, and legacy 
Each player on your team has to choose one. We're going to have Matthias... Uh, uh, bleh. Matthias that is Hans his last name. And... Matthias... Uh, uh, bleh. Yeah. And Ryan... Overturf. Over bleh. <laughs> Over <blah. laughs> Matthias and Ryan are going to be bringing you guys 15 rounds of teams... Uh, constructed 14. action. No, it's 15 now. They changed it. And it cuts oh, the top eight. It went to 15 too? Yeah. Oh, they, they had it 14 and top four, and now it's 15 and top eight. Smart. Because it, it doesn't take that long. Constructed. No, anyway. it, you don't it have really to do doesn't. The you don't have to do the sales either. And everyone wants... Stop by. What? No, <laughs> you don't do the, the drafts or the sale build. I know. I just don't want to keep doing that. I just want to make one more joke. Can I make one more joke? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. everyone wants to get into that elite top 24. <laughs> it's like the top eight, but it's 24. Right. It's so many people. Like, th those photos are just, all right, everyone, line up. <laughs> chick, chick, chick. <laughs> they have to do the panorama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all well, right, I hope you guys enjoyed this week on the Versus here. I will be taking a leave of absence while I go to Kyoto. Thank so. God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting sick of you so much. I know. No, I, I, so you'll I, see more, Ross. No, no, own up to it. Hold, I'm not gonna own hold up to strong. It. No, I'm going to be sad. You should hold strong. No, so I, I just want to say that every week playing against Brad on the Verse Series, he is one of the toughest uh, competitors to play against and also one of the toughest individuals to have to interact You're with. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's just always a grind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, like, it, it's really interesting. Like, I have these cool deck ideas, and Brad just beats me to death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because he he plays around everything. He he can he can play around everything, so he does. That's and, how magic works. And then, but then when when I play in like a live tournament, I'm like, Brad, this card's so good. This this card did this X thing, yeah. and you're like, why did they run into it? I'm like, dude, I don't know. Last last Brad Ange never last that. Angela will go away. One of the most fun interactions I've had with Todd it was like two years ago was when he stopped play testing against me for tournaments because. He would play a matchup against me, and then we would find out that it's a bad matchup, or like something's wrong with the matchup. But then he would realize that it wasn't. It was just like if you played against me playing that deck or another like really good player, then it's bad. Uh, just let, so do we have a giant fan for his ego right now? It's right there. there. Oh, I we asked do. for it. It's not. Giant. It's hot in here. It is hot in here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the verse series. We'll see you next week. He won't, but I will. Later. Bye.